It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Scooter's Coffee. Here's your host, meteorologist Abby Dyer. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, November 17th, and we are waking up with a cold front moving through the Ozarks this morning. Temperatures as a result, well, they're going to be a little bit cooler across the region today. It'll be pretty breezy out there, too. This morning, you don't notice much with that temperature in the low 40s for most will warm to near 60 in the forecast again today, but there will be additional cloud cover and a few of you got some sprinkles overnight. Uh, there's not going to be a whole lot left out of that today, unfortunately. And those of you that got a little bit of rainfall, well, it wasn't much, just some sprinkles associated with that frontal boundary, but that's what's pushing through for us early this morning. We've had really tranquil weather in the forecast so far this week. So today things change a bit for us. Our south wind will become a north breeze, and you will notice that wind not only today, but through much of the weekend. I have winds picking up in the forecast 10 to 20 miles an hour. It will be dry behind this cold front and kind of breezy too. And with such low relative humidity in place, that means there will be an elevated risk for some fire danger over the weekend. Wildfires in these conditions can take off very, very quickly. So it's another reminder to you, no open burning. I have better rain chances in the forecast by late in the weekend into the early part of next week. So uh, just hold off. If you absolutely have to burn leaves or something, do so with extreme caution. And please make sure you check to see if any uh, burn bans are issued in your counties. Relative humidity values, by the way, they're going to be as low as 15 to 35% over the weekend. That's low. Uh, find the lotion, find the chapstick. You'll notice it. The skin dries out this time of the year too. Might be a good reminder to turn on the humidifiers over the weekend. And uh, hazards, just remember that can these conditions make it easy not only for fires to start, but also for them to spread. And the wind does not uh, act as our friend in these types of scenarios. The fire danger risk for today, the best opportunity is north of I-44 for those elevated fire weather conditions. It's more widespread on Saturday, but at the eastern Ozarks look like they have a pretty big risk on Saturday and Sunday. So just something to keep in mind, avoid activities that cause open flames or sparks. And of course, always remember to properly discard of any cigarettes. The forecast for today, I think in Springfield, we're going to be in the low 60s, 61, my forecast for us. Others will be in the 50s, upper 50s for our northern counties where the cold front is moving through first this morning. In northern Arkansas, we may have some mid 60s on the map and temperatures are going to be much cooler for overnight lows to tonight. We're falling back close to the freezing point. We'll be in the 30s for overnight lows both tonight and tomorrow night. So the weekend lows are looking a bit cooler. Heaters will probably be on over the weekend, and the sunshine is back in full force for us tomorrow. I've got temperatures on Saturday, once again in the low 60s, about 62 degrees, the forecast on Saturday. By Sunday, it does look a bit cooler because some clouds move back into the region, and I'm watching an area of low pressure that will increase the rain chance for us for the second half of Sunday. I think the first half is dry, but by Sunday evening, we'll start to look at some rain chances moving in a 20 to 50% chance for rain on Sunday. That chance really increases. And I think Monday looks like a pretty soggy day in the Ozarks. As a result, our high temperature will barely make it to 50 degrees for the high on Monday. So today's temperature in comparison doesn't look so bad in the low 60s for most in the Ozarks. There will be a breeze though. So for anyone heading to Friday night football, make sure you, uh, pack appropriately. I would take a blanket. You might want some hot chocolate tonight. The wind won't be very comfortable around the country. What's making headlines is this unsettled weather pattern out in California. They of course had some rain and some winds yesterday. It looks very unsettled out there again today. And then the next thing I'm watching is this pre Thanksgiving storm that's going to impact much of the country as we head into most of next week. Now here in the Ozarks and much of the central portion of the country, us in the Eastern United States, we're going to see widespread rain and wind Monday through about Wednesday. Nothing severe for us, but enough to make travel hectic, especially if you're traveling by car. There may be some minor airport delays with some of the heavier downpours that will be around. Then the heavy rain will move into the mid-Atlantic and the Northeast on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Some of the uh, higher 
uh, terrain up there. You may get a little bit of snowfall mixed in. That's going to be for New York, Pennsylvania, much of the Northeast. And then we're talking about cold air for really the eastern two-thirds of the country. That's going to happen Wednesday through Thanksgiving. So the forecast is looking much colder a week from today. Uh, not cold enough to snow, though, here in our part of the country. All right, it is time for that wake up weather brain twister question for the day. Here's the question that I left you with yesterday, some Thanksgiving trivia for you. Which president made Thanksgiving a national holiday? The options were A, Abraham Lincoln, B, George Washington, C, Andrew Jackson, or D, James Garfield. The answer some of you guessed this correctly. It is A, Abraham Lincoln. On October 3rd, 1863, uh, Abraham Lincoln declared that the third Thursday, last, oh, excuse me, last Thursday of November would be Thanksgiving Day. And uh, it has since then. So it was all honest Abe uh, that we can thank for Thanksgiving being a national holiday. All right, here's the question for tomorrow. More Thanksgiving trivia for you. Which Native American tribe celebrated the first Thanksgiving with the pilgrims? Do you think it was A, Ottawa, B, Navajo, or C, Wampanoag? Let me know what you think. Which Native American tribe celebrated the first Thanksgiving with the pilgrims, Ottawa, Navajo, or Wampanoag? You can submit your guess over at aroundtheozarks.com. If you get it right, you'll be entered to win a $20 gift card to Scooters Coffee. So thank you so much, Scooters, for your sponsorship. And thank you for listening early this morning. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Stay warm this weekend, and I will catch you first thing early next week.